You know, most of the RFCs that we talk about were written decades ago. So it's not very often that we get a chance to talk about something that's kind of brand new. Now, it's not really brand new. It's still TCP, but it's an RFC that was created this year. So today's talk, we're going to go over RFC 9293. Newsflash, Dateline, August 2022. All right, never mind. Um, Hey, uh, there is some news in the world of the Internet Engineering Task Force. And a shout out to my buddy Bill Stackpole who let me know about this. There's been an update or a change to TCP. The TCP RFC, RFC 793, obsoleted. What? What do we do now? What happens at layer four? Don't worry, my friends. Let's explore the news. So if you remember, we've talked a lot about RFC 793 and transmission control protocol. It's one of the earliest RFCs that we use all the time. It comes from the sub-1000 range. So there are thousands and thousands of RFCs today, and this one dates from 1981 and has still been in wide use largely unchanged. It's been added to, certainly. There have been lots and lots of additions, as you can see by my little graphic here from, uh, from the IETF, but largely unchanged. But that all changed this month when TCP RFC 793 was obsoleted by RFC 9293. So before this month, before August 2022, we can see that there was the RFC for TCP and then a whole collection of RFCs that focused on things like maximum segment size. How big could, could a packet be? Uh, the TCP urgent flag, right? It's one of the flags in the fields where used to send, sin ACK, or who used to send and ACK and FIN, but the urgent flag is certainly one of those. And then we've got a couple of other additions, as you can see here. So lots and lots of RFCs built on that original RFC 793. So somebody finally had enough and said, something's got to change. So presenting RFC 9293, the new Transmission Control Protocol RFC. And what they really did is they took all of those RFCs and sort of put them all together into one big one. So we don't uh, have to go to all those different RFCs anymore. We got sort of one-stop shopping. I love this first line from the RFC. This document specifies tr the Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is an important transport layer protocol, you think? in the internet protocol stack. It's continuously evolved over decades of use and growth of the internet. Over time, number of changes have been made and they've been documented in piecemeal fashion. Thus the list of all of those other RFCs. So 9293 is the go-to right now. It's the one that we're gonna talk about, but really it's a collection of all of those RFCs that were either TCP or about uh, additions to TCP. Well, how about that? I got excited because, hey, you don't, uh, we don't see a whole lot of changes to RFCs. Uh, there are thousands and thousands of them, but if you look at the latest, there aren't very many from, you know, say this decade. They mostly date from, yeah, 10 years ago, maybe. There's a couple. There's a, I'm not going to tell you there's been no movement, but a lot of the things that we do today are the things that we did a decade ago and sometimes four or five decades ago. So a new RFC is born, so kind of fun. Hey, like and subscribe if you like the news flash, and of course, there'll be lots and lots of other networking videos. And whether you're doing the old TCP or the new TCP, may those packets always reach their destinations, particularly if they get a little help from the stork.